want you to hide one in a case of beer. Huh? You know, egg in your beer. Little attempt at humor. Forget it. Get those Easter cakes over to St. Elmo's? Yes, he's there now. I'm gonna go by with the bread after the Easter egg hunt. Have fun. You sure you won't, uh, come with me? No, no, I can't. I promised Vince I'd meet him at St. Elmo's later. I see. The, uh, Sunday school kids are putting on a pageant. Oh. Huh. Well, you change your mind. Thanks, anyway. Uh, listen, uh, Jamie's gonna come and pick me up any minute now. I have to go pick up an Easter plant for Rachel. Would you tell him I'll be right down? Sure will. I think things are finally looking up. Good. My parents are going to see MJ together. Did I tell you that? Well, that sounds like progress, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, Cass and Nicole are making it go to the salon. Yeah, the salon, among other things. Right. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Oh! John, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I just don't think that this toast is destined to be. That's all. That's okay. Cheryl? Mom, what are you doing here? Uh, I thought you were at St. Elmo's with your dad. Oh, I went to the 10 o'clock, and then I came here. Oh, to see John. She brought me some Irish soda bread. It's real good. Would you like some? No, or, or coffee you. or something? No, thanks. You're here to see Jason? No. No. No, I, uh, um, I, I came here to see if my airline tickets were here. Why would your airline tickets be here? Well, because I know I had them with me when I brought Jason home the other what night. What were you doing bringing Jason home? Well, he was sick. He almost fainted twice at the restaurant. He was perfectly fine this morning. Cheryl, I don't want to argue about this, Cheryl. I just came here to see if my tickets were here by any chance. Yes, You sure are. you don't want a cup of coffee or something? No, thank you. Well, Mom, if the tickets are what you came here for... Then... Listen, uh, I've been doing some really good work on this barn out here. It's kind of fancy. Would you like to see it? Not really, John. Well, uh, we could all take a walk out there and, and... I'll walk out with you, but I can't. I promised Vince... Uh, I'm on my way to meet him at St. Elmo's. All right, oh, well, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go. Hi. I sure didn't expect to find you here. Well, you certainly wouldn't have if I hadn't left my tickets here. Oh, yeah, I was going to call you about that. Uh, thanks a lot. Well, she to, is now. on her way to meet my father at St. Elmo's. Is that right? Yeah, mm-hmm. Mary. Yes, and they are going to meet my sister together. That's what the airline tickets are for. Come on now. Mary, if you got a minute, I'd really like to uh, talk to you about something. Um, oh, well, uh, why don't you guys go look at the barn? Oh, uh, it's okay. I'll just talk to you for a minute. It's okay. Uh, sit down. Sit. No, I, I don't have that much time. Just once today, I would like somebody to do what I ask. What's the matter? Sit down and I'll tell you about it. Look, I, I know you're friends with the Corys. Yes, I am. Well, you may have to choose sides real soon. Why? I'm afraid there's going to be a big battle coming up. Between you and the Corys? Yeah, all of them, even Jamie. Why? Because none of them trust me. And you think they should? I give him my word, yeah. I don't believe I'll take sides. I think I'll stay neutral. What would you trust me, would you? It's only when you give your word. Well, I really gotta be going. Sure. I promised Vince. Hey, I understand. You don't have to say a thing. You certainly seem better. It was a soup. It was a miraculous <laughs> cure. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'll walk you out to the car. What? About Jamie and, and how he feels. Don't, don't misunderstand. I'm not misunderstanding anything. The kid just doesn't trust mm -hmm. me. Jamie was raised mostly by Mac and Rachel, yeah. who are both very 
very upfront, outspoken people. I'm not that kind of person. Oh, you know you're not. Have you told them your plans for frame construction? They wouldn't believe me. That's why they think you've got an angle, because you won't tell them where you stand. Jamie and I were getting along just fine till this happened, and I, I really thought he understood me. You can be very charming. Thank you. But I don't think Jamie's going to make a business decision based on that. Well, what do you suggest? I, I uh, become Vince McKinnon? Oh, Jason, I'm not criticizing you. I'm sure Jamie finds you very mysterious and exciting. That's a weird way of putting that. It is. Yeah, just maybe you got your people mixed up. Maybe you're talking about yourself. <laughs> Me? Yeah, I mean, isn't that the way you feel? No, it certainly is not. Oh, Mary, face it. Why don't you just say that's what you came back here for? You're really impossible. Me? I'm here trying to give you a little understanding, and you turn it into a pass. No, I just asked you a simple question. I am question. not interested in you that way. All right. And I really think you have a lot of nerve even suggesting it. You're, you're so fine. arrogant. I absolutely feel sorry. Arrogant. Arrogant. You're deluded. All right, then you tell me exactly why you left those airline tickets here. I forgot them. Mary, airline tickets are very expensive, and you're a lot more careful than that. Obviously, I'm not careful enough, am I? Well, you're the psychology major. Don't you think you have some subconscious need to come back here? Don't you talk to me about my subconscious. Hey, I'm just trying to get this out in the open. Okay, fine. Fine, let's do that then. Okay. I think you are arrogant. I think you are devious. I think you're absolutely impossible. And if Jamie doesn't trust you, I don't know that I could blame him. You let go of me. Who do you think you are? Someone who's just very tired of you waiting to see the light. Mrs. McKinnon? No, why? Well, I was supposed to meet her over at St. Elmo's. The kids were doing a Sunday school thing for Easter, you know. Didn't she show up? No, and that's not like her. Gee, I hope nothing's wrong. Yeah. So do I. If I didn't stop you right away, it's only because it took me a split second to realize that anybody could be that obnoxious. Even you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mary, what do you keep coming around for then, huh? Because I felt sorry for you. Oh, come on. Because you were alone. You're alone. No, no, I'm not. No, I have my children. I have friends. I have Vince. And Vince. And you pretend to be his friend. No, I am his friend. Is that how you show friendship? By forcing yourself on the woman? The woman of what? What? You know how it is with us. Yeah, I got a pretty good idea, but why don't you tell me? We were married. We had four children together. We buried one of those children together. I know all and about that. And I still care for him, and I demand that you respect that. I know exactly how you feel about Vince. Good. He's a great guy. He's more than that. Yeah. He's safe. There's a very big part of you that cries out for anything but safe. It's none of your business how I feel about Vince. Don't you dare ever touch me like that again. And don't you ever tell yourself that you did it because I liked it. Mary. You disgust me. Vince. Ah, Mary, there you are. I went to St. Elmo's, but they told me you had already left. Yeah, well, it was only a, you know, Sunday school pageant. I didn't want to go to Sardi's and wait for the review. You're angry. No, I'm not. Not everybody is a sucker for a five-year-old dressed as Mary Magdalene. I may be the only one. I really wanted to be there with you. Oh, well, good. That's the thoughts that get, you know, that, that counts. I had to go to Jason's. Okay. I had to pick up our tickets. He runs a travel agency now? No, no. I had left them there. Okay. And I, I had to get them because I didn't want anything to, to ruin our trip together. You've been looking for the tickets all this time? 
Well, no. Uh, no, I kept trying to leave, but you know Jason. No, I don't, Mary. Damn it. Don't you think I care about you? I was worried about you. You should have called. You're right. I'm terribly sorry. Sometimes I'm not a very good person. I hate when you do that. What? Admit you're wrong so fast. Are you going to stay mad at me, or are you going to give me something to eat? What's the matter with that guy? Didn't he feed you? No. All right, I can put you into an Easter Sunday special, all right? Okay. Mary's place. Oh, yeah, she's right here. For you. Who is it? Dr. Jackson from the hospital. Hello. No, no, you're not bothering me at all. Tomorrow? No, no, I'm just surprised that there has to be another interview. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yes, of course, I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Bye. I'll have to go in tomorrow for another interview. That's the job, right? Yeah. Yeah, he said I seem to be exactly what they need. Hey, I could have told him. Yeah, I just, I have to be met by somebody who's on the board of governors or directors. Well, good luck. There's one little problem. What? If I do get the job, it starts next week. Next week? Our trip. You know, this day is getting better and better. Can't we at least talk about There's it? nothing to talk about. You know I want to take this trip with you. And I also know jobs like this don't come along that often. Fitz, I feel terrible. Why? Because you missed a Sunday school pageant and a trip that I arranged without asking. But I want to do these things with you. I do. You, uh, you think that maybe you could let him know if you find out anything about Matthew? Not to worry. Mac and Rachel will do that. Yes. You're absolutely right, Ada. Listen, I, I've really got to go. Okay, thanks again for the ride. Oh, you're more than welcome. Take care. I will. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. She seems so happy these days. Well, that's more than I can say for uh, Vince. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do something about it. Hi. Hi. Did you get a special price on those tickets when you bought them? You want me to cash yours in? No, I just don't want to see you get penalized when we change the reservation. To when? Anytime soon, so that we can be there and back before I have to start work. You really want to do that? That's what I've been telling you. So what do you say? Well, I have to, you know, see if I can get the time off. Oh, gee, I'll bet you can do that. I'll uh, call the airline. Uh, how long will it take you to get your affairs in order? Not long at all. Sooner the better. 